All right, out here at Sand Hollow UTV Takeover, and I am on the trail with uh, Warren, and we're gonna show you um, a little bit of information about some different types of winching techniques. So on my uh, Can-Am Maverick X3, I have a Warren Axon 55S winch tucked up in this uh, TMW bumper right here. And what we're gonna do is do a little offset winching. This is just to show you how this kind of works. Um, we've got uh, their car down here. We're using a couple tree straps to go off of a different point and uh, using one of their pulleys here from uh, Factor 55 to uh, offset winch. But here's a little bit better view. We are using uh, worn tree straps to go around this rock down. Uh, these are soft shackles, really cool setup. Um, and this is the pulley um, that allows you to do offset winching. So instead of pulling in a straight line, we're using the pulley to go to a different point like this. That's one of the cool uses of these pulleys. The other thing you can do is double up and come, uh, like if you've got a winch on this vehicle, cool to a pulley and come back to itself and it doubles the pulling power. So again, we've got this pretending to be the stuck vehicle down here. Tree straps around this rock. Pulley right here with a soft shackle going back to the vehicle that has the winch on it that can pull this one up. Hey, I'm Tom from Warren. So we're gonna talk a little bit about our setup that we got here today. So first we got um, our soft shackles here that we got hooked up to the toe point on the front. In this case, we actually used two soft shackles just so we could get our hook, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and our rope up out of the way because we we're dragging up over a rock. The cool thing about these soft shackles is they are one of the only ones that are made here in the United States and every single one from Factor 55 comes with the load rating and some quick instructions on the proper way to rig them, which is really important to make sure you have the alignment of your soft shackle uh, correct so it doesn't come loose while you're rigging. So next we're gonna talk about our ultra hook here. So this is our XTV ultra hook made for uh, the front of your UTV. So, um, Many folks are familiar with the, either the uh, flat link or the ultra link that we have there at uh, Factor 55. So this is something we developed more recently working with uh, King of Hammers racers who wanted the security of a closed loop winching system when they needed it, but also needed the speed of a hook uh, for some of those quick scenarios they needed to get into, which we still include a pin here so you can lock that clasp in for when you are winching. And then for this example, we actually have a rope guard on it, which helps protect uh, your rope. You know, if you're off-road, keeps the sand out of there, the rocks out of there. But the other thing that's important is it helps protect that rope end uh, from being out in the sun and getting some of that UV damage, which is kind of the main uh, culprit of uh, rope wear on these synthetic ropes. So you can see we're being safe here today. We're using a tool roll we had laying around just as our winch line damper. Um, and in this case, we were doing a rope redirect pull, so there really wasn't a good spot up there to position the other rig. Um, so we used that rock, redirected the rope around here to the front of this rig using our new uh, Factor 55 rope retention pulley. So this is a really cool setup. It basically replaces a snatch block um, with the idea being that this rope or this uh, pulley here actually pivots on our soft shackle. And as you can see what we say are on the uh, laser engraving there, it's actually Teflon coated so it can spin on that soft shackle um, as you're pulling. The nice thing about this is you can attach this soft shackle straight to uh, someone's roll cage or an A-arm or something like that if you need to pull them. And this whole setup weighs a whole lot less uh, than having to carry a snatch block and a D-ring. Okay, so this is an example of using the winch on the stuck vehicle by itself, coming out here to an anchor point um, using the uh, RPP? Yeah, rope retention pulley. Rope retention pulley. Uh, soft shackle, 
tree savers around a rock. Um, and what this does is double your pulling power by using a pulley, and it also cuts in half your um, uh, winch speed in half. So by doing that, you're going to uh, give yourself a little bit more control and power while you're winching. Let's see how it works. All right, we're gonna have Tom tell you his secret to uh, hooking two tree savers together so you can get them apart easily. Um, he's got a trick. Let me have him show you. So that's just coming apart really easy. After winching pretty hard on that rock there. So there'll be a lot of times that you're out winching and uh, whatever you're trying to go around, the one tree strap won't be enough length. Cough, Oops. cough, you should make a 20 footer. <laughs> so you need two tree straps. Now, uh, you know, one way you can join them together is you can just put a D ring between them, but sometimes you might be low on rigging or you're trying to save that for something else. So you need to join these two tree straps together without using any rigging. Now, everyone's first inclination is just put this into a choker like this. But what will happen is as soon as you load this thing up, this choker knot will get so tight that you'll never get this back apart and you have a permanent long tree strap. I've done that before. Yeah, we've all been there. So one quick way you can do this where you can put them together and then you can actually get it back apart when you're all done. If you lay your two straps in the end, you put the end of one through the other and you put the end of the other through this one and then just pull them tight. They'll form a knot on themselves. Almost looks like a figure eight. Yep. And then when you're all done, you can pull that back apart by hand after you've loaded it up. If you're doing this with a truck, what you can do is actually put like a stick in there and then the truck will actually get it so tight that it will be tough to get it back apart but it won't crush the stick. You can use that stick to wiggle it apart and have it come back apart when you're all done. So kind of like a bowling. Yep. Another thing when you are done winching and you want to spool it back in, always put some pressure on the line. If you don't, when it spools in, there'll be uh, extra space in there and uh, you'll get it wedged in there so tight you won't be able to get it back out again. 